Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Excel 2010 in depth chapter 9 joining text. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, from chapter 9 in Excel 2010 in depth, uh, one of my favorite examples is how to join uh, two columns that have text in them. So I have first name in column A, last name in column B. I need to join the two of these together. Uh, and we use formulas all the time to add two numbers together, equal A2 plus B2. But since this is text, it's not a plus sign, it's the ampersand, uh, the and sign. So equal A2 ampersand B2. We'll take the text from A, the text from B, and smash it together into a single cell. Now, of course, the problem here is that it didn't put a space between there. So we want to go back, edit that formula. I press F2 to edit, equal A2 ampersand quote space quote ampersand. So this is saying, hey, we're joining three things together. Whatever's in A, whatever's in the quotes, which in this case is a space, and whatever's in B, and I'll take that text and smash it together. Now, it, you'll notice that the uh, incoming data was all in uppercase, and so of course my uh, full name ends up in uppercase. Great function to use here is something called proper, the proper function. We'll take the text uh, that's in uppercase and convert it to upper and lowercase, capitalizing the first letter of every word. So the proper function. Double click to shoot that down. Through Paul McCartney in here just to point out that the second C in McCartney doesn't get fixed. Uh, there's solutions to this. I don't like any of the solutions. Some people say put a space uh, back here between the two C's and column B. I think that looks really bad. Uh, some people start out equal if the left of B2 comma 3 is MCC. Then do this big dance. You know what? Just use the formula, sort of my last name, fix the few that uh, have problems, and a fast, fast way to go. All right, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.